Hi guys, I hope you're doing good. I wanted to come on here again tonight because I was involved in a conversation today and I think there's a lot of conversation going on on this planet right now because there are many people waking up during this great awakening, but sometimes it can be frustrating or difficult because we have relations with others who do not see the bigger picture, who have kind of stuck their head in the sand. You know, we've all been there ourselves, so there's no judgment, but it's hard for them to take in new information and to have new perspectives. They have faith and trust in a system that has been in place for a very long time. And because everything has seemed okay to them, um, they want to and think that, you know, these people and these corporations are trustworthy. And so it can be very difficult at times, especially when it has to do with our offspring. And I always come on talking as a CPS survivor. I'm a CPS mom who, um, you know, I have come out of the system. I do not put my belief and my trust in um, anyone outside of me. And yes, there are people that I look up to and that I have learned a lot from, but truly the keys are within. And so I just wanted to say that, you know, right now is truly the time to be breaking the patterns that have been, you know, set that we have set for ourselves. The old thoughts, the old emotions, our past um old belief systems that aren't serving us or anyone else anymore and to really take the time to go within and you know this conversation made me step back and look at just how are certain conversations helping us and um, what good is it doing and there is a great quote I don't know the author but it the basically what it says is it is easier to fool someone than to convince them that they've been fooled and there is a cognitive dissonance that i've talked about before that it you know takes place when there are things and there's a lot of things on this planet right now that are so big that it's hard for people to believe that these things are actually going on because it goes against all of their belief systems that they have and that have been passed down usually generation after generation. But what I am seeing is that the energies on this planet, there's kind of dark forces and light forces. That's just the easiest way for me to put it. And there seems to be um, this mechanism or this system in place in which certain energies feed off of and certain entities feed off of people's fear and low vibrations uh, conquering and dividing and they use us as pawns to get what they want you know their own agendas and yes it's all being allowed um, by source because we are all one and um Sometimes we do just have to step back and look at the bigger picture and ask, what is it that I'm supposed to learn right now? I mean, that's the biggest question. And then what do I want to be involved in? What is helping? You know, are, am I involved in solutions or am I being part of the problem? And so as I was looking at this, um, what came to me is that if I'm involved in different types of thought, that are feeding any type of worry and fear and anything like that. I don't want to be a part of it because what we focus on grows and our focus is our vote. Why do we even go there? Why do we look at the lower, you know, lots of potentials that exist out there that don't serve us and don't serve anyone else? Why not just shoot for all of the highest potentials available to us? And as creators and co-creators, let's just focus on those things. That's what makes sense to me. Um, the law of attraction is that the energy that we put out there is going to be attracted back to us. And there's so much information about how the world is like a mirror, a huge giant mirror that reflects back to us 
life lessons and it helps us to grow and evolve and ascend. You know, this is about becoming conscious, you know, being awake. We don't want to be creating from a place of unconsciousness. You know, that's been going on for a very, very long time. And so these types of conversations that we get involved in and we will worry about what's going to happen to our offspring when they are in someone else's uh, care. And, um, you know, like with me, I have my two boys who guardianship is with my second husband's parents. And then my daughters are with my mom. And what I'm noticing is that there's a lot of people who just don't want to hear anything at this time. And we need to step back and give that space. And we need to put our faith and trust in the creator that we are a part of, that we are waves of. And, you know, as we're this love and light that we start to radiate out there, it's going to help others to shine their lights and to find their paths that they want to go on. So, I don't think that we are to just consent to everything or to not speak our voices. I think that we need to stand in our power and to go through those open doors as they open, you know, up to us and are revealed to us. But it doesn't help to continue to hit our head on the wall over and over again. It's resistance and resistance brings back resistance. That's what ends up happening. You know, whatever you resist persists. And so it's really about surrendering and trusting. And it can be so hard because we have been trained, indoctrinated, and programmed to do things this other way, to keep trying and to keep hitting our heads on the wall, to keep picking up those weights and, and pumping and pumping. But the biggest changes occur on the spiritual levels, things that we aren't able to see or here when we have the veil over our eyes and over our ears. So, you know, what I am also noticing is that the more that people clean out their bodies and start to make lifestyle changes, eating more whole foods, fruits and vegetables, fasting and detoxing, automatically they start to see things more clearly and they start to question more. And sometimes they are wrestling back and forth because all of a sudden their world gets flipped upside down and they don't know what to do. And so they start to cling on to those things that bring them comfort. And I know all about this because my world got flipped upside down when CPS came and I was grabbing on to everything that I could and it didn't make sense to me. But when we truly start to have faith in who we are, as these divine spirits, these infinite souls, you know, we can break free from the form and all the chains that have been binding us. And we rise up in these higher dimensions that help us and help others to reach our highest potentials. So I just want to encourage you guys today to let go of those things. Don't get involved in conversations that aren't helping anyone. It is easier to fool someone than to convince them that they've been fooled. And when the time is right, People will wake up. It's not our jobs to go out and to try to wake everyone up, convert everyone, evangelize anyone or anything like that. This is an individual journey. And we do this by going within and helping, you know, ourselves and healing. And that is why I am fasting and detoxing and working on my, just my whole life and the character that I've been living and I'm shedding things off. You know, we are created to be the phoenix rising out of the ashes, to be reborn and to spread our wings and to fly. This transformation is incredible. But as we're walking, we have to be willing to let go. So that's all I wanted to say. I want to try to keep this short for you guys. I thank you for coming on and watching. And I hope that this helps you in some way as you're walking. And, you know, maybe there's people in your life like myself. I'm really the 
one of the only ones that I know who is awake that's at least daily that I can talk to. There's not many people that I see around me. Most have masks on. Most don't understand, overstand, and understand what's going on. And sometimes I use, under, well, a lot of times I say understand before I say overstand and understand. Understanding is standing under something. There's a lot of people actually standing under what is being said because that's what we've been taught to do. So it's time to overstand and to understand and to just let go, surrender, you know, allow the flow of life to take you to right where you're supposed to go. And don't be banging your head against the wall and don't be discouraged by what is taking place around you because yeah, we can focus on what we want and that will come back. That's the universal law of things. There's no changing that. And I don't know, you know, the time lapse exists because we're in this physical realm right now in this physical form. But when we lose the identities and start to identify with only the formless and allow that to move us, then we experience true freedom that no one can take away. I love you guys so much. Let's do this together for ourselves and our families and this entire planet and every one and everything in existence. We are one. Let's support one another. You are me and I am you. So let's take care of ourselves first and then shine our lights so that we can encourage others to take the lampshade off and to go out and to do exactly what they are purposed to do. Everyone is worthy. Everyone's valuable. Everyone has an important assignment mission to do on this planet. And yeah, let your light shine. Namaste to you guys.